I was recently in Hollister, California to talk to Doug Schwartz of Drainmaster, who's one of America's leading experts on RV waste management. And just casually, I asked Doug if he had ever heard of sewer flies or rats in RV holding tanks. I, I had heard about it and I thought it was an urban legend. And I was very surprised at Doug's response. Uh, it doesn't happen all that often, but it does happen because these critters and sewer flies live in the sewer systems. Uh, there's a lot of other things that crawl that live in there too. And uh, as a result of that, their path to your coach comes through your sewer hose. It's the only way that there is a clear path. So leaving your gray tank open leaves an open path for those things to enter your coach. So, uh, in one particular case, a lady told us uh, the story about she and her husband were traveling and they stayed in this RV park for a period of time. They left, went to another park, and they started hearing noises as they were uh, traveling in the next park and a couple after that, that in the middle of the night kind of thing, you're sleeping and you hear this thump, thump. Well, it turned out that a sewer rat had crawled up into their gray tank and was living in the gray tank. And they found that out when they had their tanks completely flushed. And so, that's and that's because they kept the gray the gray tank open, they which kept the gray we've valve talked open. about. You you uh, it's a pathway into the coach. And what about what about the sewer flies? We've 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 heard got letters about this. What? Yes, and, and sewer flies are another situation. In this particular case, uh, the woman had uh, just gone to the bathroom, she turned around uh, hit the pedal to dump the contents and she caught something out of the corner of her eye and it was a fly. It literally came out of the toilet. And so how does that happen? Well the way it happens is and it all starts with leaving your gray valve open. The sewer fly will come up into the gray uh, tank. It'll then migrate up into the vent pipe and on, on a lot of coaches, not all, but a lot of coaches there's not two pipes, there's one pipe on the roof, they Y together uh, up above the, uh, the holding tanks and then go to a single outlet. So that I would suspect that what happened was the fly went up the vent stack and back down into the black holding tank. And that's how it got there.